Good morning, y'all. It's the Robert, my mama's son. Nobody important. Man, I got a good one for y'all. And by the grace of the Lord, that wasn't bestowed upon me at the moment. It probably was not meant to be. I had a moment yesterday. I deliver, I relocate edible items that folks order and I bring to the residents. So I grab an order. I'm going through a neighborhood outside of News Lysden, out of my comfort zone, which this place ain't even my comfort zone no more. So I go out, I go out of the, the comfort zone into a residential neighborhood. Lo and behold, I spot down the road, and it was exactly what I spotted, a damn Karen. I finally came across one, a Karen. I'm going 4.5 miles down the road. She comes in the middle of the road, stops my vehicle, well, orders me to stop. I stop just to be inquisitive, which I know she ain't want shit. So I asked her, what is the problem? She says, um, do you belong here? I said, uh, yes. I'm a human being. I was born on the planet. Yes, I do belong here. She says, uh, you don't have to be a wise ass. I said, look, lady, you stop me. What do you want? She then goes and, um, well, this is a respective neighborhood, and I haven't seen you around here before. I said, because uh, I don't live here. So then she goes, oh, well, well, what, what, is your, what, what are you doing here? I said, it's none of your business. I said, why are you sitting here bothering me? She said, well, well, I just need to make sure that our neighborhood is kept safe. I, safe from what? My vehicle or you? She says, well, what's, what's your name? I said, uh, yeah. She says, what is your last name? I said, uh-huh. She says, oh, you want to be a wise ass? Okay, well, I'm going to call the authorities to make sure they see who you really are. She went and called the police. So, bang, she comes back harassing me. I said, I said, look ahead. You old lady, you need to go home, sit in front of a fireplace, and rock one of your grandkids to sleep telling a story. Why are you out here bothering me? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, and she backs up. I finally find a place. I'm three houses down for where I had to deliver, to relocate the edible items. And I make no delivery. Guess who pulls up as I'm getting ready to leave? Your family neighborhood, I'll handcuff you and beat the hell out of you because I feel like it and get away with it type of fella. Sir, what are you doing in there? Boom, boom, boom. I'm, make, I'm making deliveries. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. They split up. Karen starts going ballistic. She pulls out weapon number two, the boo-hoo tears. Oh, I felt so threatened. He did this. He did this. Folks, I could not pull out my phone fast enough because I had it lined up for what the address of what the business that I was tending to, and I'm not tech savvy with these electronics. I, I could not leave that screen, so I couldn't record none of this, and I'm kicking myself in the ass to this second. But yeah, Johnny Law, I'll handcuff you, beat the hell out of you if I feel like it, and get away with it. Comes over, pulls me to the side. He says, uh, blah, blah, blah. Show I show him my ID, blah, 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 and all that. He says, don't worry about it. Go on about your day. Don't you know, lo and behold, because Karen, finger pointing, screaming for no reason, 9.32 in the morning, got a citation for disorderly conduct. With that day being said, all said and done. Hot sauce. Bong, bong. You ain't got to speak to me. But I know one thing. You better talk to him. Peace. Yep.